So in this episode, we are going to see the uh, code, uh, the application and the functionalities in the Poeticoins uh, Elixir application. Um, and this application was built in the first module of the full course. Uh, but if you're just interested to uh, the live view part, uh, the introductory part, uh, you just need to follow uh, this episode to understand how it works. So we have uh, two clients, Bitsum client and uh, Coinbase client. They are uh, two uh, gen servers and they connect uh, to uh, the Coinbase uh, WebSocket API and Bitsum WebSocket API. Uh, and uh, they, uh, once connected, they subscribe uh, to get uh, trades for uh, different products. So the products are identified with the currency pairs. So for example, uh, Coinbase client subscribes uh, for the BTC USD product and BTC uh, Euro product and uh, Bitstem client uh, could subscribe uh, for the uh, same currency pairs. And when a client receives uh, a trade, it receives a trade as a message and uh, it maps this uh, JSON message to a trade struct and it broadcasts uh, this uh, trade uh, using PubSub uh, and it broadcasts the trade to a PubSub topic. So there are two ways of getting data. One is real time. So we use PubSub to subscribe to a stream of data uh, of trades and the other one is to get the last trade using the historical. So we get the last trade that the historical uh, has uh, in memory. To get the code of this application, you just need to go to this uh, repository. You find the link below. Uh, and we start with the uh, CI CD um, GitHub uh, Gigalixir branch. So you can uh, use this branch after opening the project uh, with our editor. Um, so we find under lib party coins, uh, here we find the modules uh, I've just described. So first we start with the, uh, with the, uh, with the product. So product, uh, it's a struct. We have the exchange name and currency parent. We can use the new function uh, that returns uh, a product struct. And trade is another struct. Uh, a trade has a product, a trade at date time, a price and volumes, and they are uh, strings. In the application, as part of our uh, supervision tree, we start the historical process and the exchanges supervisor. The exchanges supervisor is actually the supervisor of our clients. So uh, the exchanges supervisor starts and uh, monitors and uh, supervises the, uh, the Coinbase client and Bitstamp client. The historical is the process that keeps the trades, uh, the latest trades in memory. And the historical subscribes uh, to uh, the pub sub topics to get uh, real time trades, and as soon as uh, it receives a new a new trade, it updates its own state. So we can query uh, the historical to uh, get the uh, the most recent trades. So when we start the IEX console, the application starts immediately the historical and the, uh, the exchanges uh, supervisor and the exchanges supervisor uh, starts the two clients. So we see here that the Bitsum clients connect and subscribes to all uh, the currency pairs and uh, the Coinbase client subscribes to its uh, uh, currency pairs. And we can alias the Poiti coins product and we can use new and for example, Coinbase BTC USD and the new function returns a product struct with the currency pair BTC USD and the exchange name uh, Coinbase. 
to access to most of the uh, functionalities of the Poetic Coins uh, application, we can use this Poetic Coins module. And um, we start with the available products, which is a function that returns uh, all the available products supported by the application. So we, if we call available products, we see that it returns a list of all the products. Then we have get last trade and get last trades, which are uh, similar. So we pass a product and it returns uh, the most recent trades in the historical. So if we use get last trade and for example, uh, we pass the product new Coinbase BTC USD, it returns the most recent trade price uh, $56,000, then the product itself, then the traded at date time and the volume. We can ask to the historical to get uh, the same currency pair, I mean the same product BTC USD, but for Bitstamp. And for Bitstamp, remember the currency pair is a bit different, is BTC USD. And we get the most recent trade uh, in, uh, in, um, in Bitstamp. To get real time messages of the trades received by the clients, uh, we can use subscribe to trades. So we can subscribe to trades, we pass the product. Coinbase, BTC, USD, and the calling process, in this case, the IEX process, uh, will subscribe uh, to the pub subtopic and uh, will start receiving uh, the, the trades for this specific product. So if we flush the mailbox, you see that we've started receiving quite a lot of trades for this specific product. So if you want to explore a little bit uh, how it works under the hood, so we can go here inside exchanges and we have a client, this module, so we have a macro and uh, Bistem client and Coinbase client, they implement the client behaviors. So we use the dev client macro and uh, we list here the currency pairs for the Coinbase client, the host port, and the exchange name, and same thing for a uh, Bitstamp client. And here we implement uh, some callbacks to define how uh, the client should behave uh, to handle uh, the connection uh, with, uh, in this case, Bitstamp client. The supervisor starts the two, uh, the two clients, and the two clients are defined, uh, are returned by uh, this function, exchanges clients, and the historical at the moment is just a process that keeps the most recent trades in memory. So it subscribes, once it starts, it subscribes to uh, the pub subtopics to get uh, the stream of trades. So at the moment, uh, there isn't a lot in Poetic Coins Web. We just have a controller, a product controller, and we have the index action. And uh, in this action, we just get the most recent trades for each available product. So we have this trades list and we render the index template. We find under templates, product index, and we just render this table. So for each trade, we render a row with a traded at, product, exchange name, currency pair, price, and volume. So if we start the Phoenix server and we connect to localhost 4000, we see the render table. 
But if we want to see the new trades and update a view, we need to refresh the page. So let's see in the next episode uh, how we can start using LiveView uh, to get real-time data on the client side.